This is my 1935 John Deere A, uh, unstyled A. My grandfather purchased it uh, a sh year or two shortly after it was new. I was told that it had to, he had to get lottery tickets to buy a tractor back then because they were in such short supply. When this tractor was purchased from my family, they were hard to get machinery at that time. So went from mules and horses to a tractor like this. I mean, it would have been incredible. It came with uh, steel wheels and they were, the rims were cut down and added uh, rubber tires to it so you could travel up and down the road. You mean, it didn't used to be roads out here, so it didn't really matter, you know, dirt roads. but. They had to put them on rubber so you could get around the country. It has a high compression power block head on it. And the, actually the head to get the guides made, I had a machine shop, they took Caterpillar guides of some sort to make the guides for the head. But, so it's got a high compression head on it. It's kind of hard to start. You gotta really be in good shape to get it started. <laughs> the front tires were brand new and they are almost rotten and they still got the bumps still on them. So <laughs> time for another set of front tires. Parade tractor, I guess, I'm probably not going to plow or anything with it. I mean, you could have plower days, but since I'm a farmer, I, I've been getting enough plowing while I'm working. Last few years on the farm, when I was a little child, they used it to run corn, corn dump, like put corn in the crib, and uh, my mom didn't like it much because, like I say, it was pretty hard to start, even, even then when it was pretty wore out. So. <laughs>